right, your old buddy Microchip here playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is the UMR episode 29. All right. At the end of episode 28, uh, we had problems. There were derailed cars. For some reason, this train here got cut, I don't know, in half maybe. But I went through. You saw I found the uh, derailed cars. I re-railed them, brought them up, and now you can see I've reconstructed the entire train. So now everything is good. Hopefully that doesn't happen more, but I'm sure it will. All right. Now, uh, where we're going to start today is right here in this yard because these three cuts right here have to be picked up by Eric. Now, where's Eric? He's been coming here forever. Well, guess what? He's here. Here's Eric right over here. In he butte. All right. Okay, so Eric's going to pull in there, and he is going to pick up those three cuts. Let me get him slide over to his spot on the uh, on the spreadsheet. There he is. Okay, so let's get going, shall we? That's going to be louder on my end. Oh, I don't feel like I'm there. There we go. Okay, Eric. Take us to the promised land, buddy. Oh, uh, before we do that, though, there we go. Kill that bell. And let's uh, line the tracks to where we want him to go. Yeah, that's not where we want him to go. He's going to go this way. And he's going to come this way. Yes. 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 He can still stay on this side. That's fine. Yeah. And he's going to come all the way down track two here. Uh, he could cross over at this point, but we're not going to have him. We're going to have him go straight here. He's going to cross over at the last second. Right here to here to here. And then to here. And then we're going to have him pull straight ahead, glom onto these. Then he'll double up here and he'll triple up to here. All righty. So here he comes now. What's he got here? Is that a ESS? Yeah, it's an E. No, it's an SD80 Mac. Is that what that is? I can barely read that. It's an SD80 Mac, and I'm going to guess that that is. That looks like a GP38 in front here. It's a GP38-2. So close, just missed it by the dash 2. All righty. Here he comes. Now, he's got a lot of cars to pick up, as you saw there. There's a lot of cars there, but most of them are going to the SO Flats, which we've been at before. Uh, some of them are also, in fact, just seven of the cars are going to Harrington. It's a forcing uh, company. We haven't been to Harrington yet. Then uh, Lambert for some limestone work. Haven't done that either. Edison. Uh, we're delivering, I think, box cars to a company called Moorhead. Whoever they are, I don't know. Never heard of. Them. Oh wait a minute, it's twenty mile, twenty mile an hour here. Let me juice it a little bit. And then we're also going to be going to Wallace, where we've never been before. We got several places. In fact, we're working with one, two, three, four, five, six different industries there in Wallace. Alrighty. Eric is a fine, fine local. In fact, he's our 10th local that we have on the route. Well, no, because Andrew's a local, so that'd make him the 11th, and then Duke picks up empties, so that'd make him 12th, wouldn't it? Yeah. 10, 12, depending on what you define as a local, which in my book is servicing industries, uh, and therefore, you're not taking cars from one yard to the next. You are actually taking cars to the industries and then setting them out where they need to be set out. All righty. Making our way through. On the left, of course, is the south yard here in North Yard. On the right is the bowl. 
On the very far right, these are ones we took out of the bowl. This big long line of cars here because they were following up the bowl. Those are all going to have to be shipped out. And then way up there on the right, that's where we're headed. Uh, and it, it got, we got our two marshalling tracks there. Is that what you call those things where you set out the train ready to be picked up after you've constructed it? I don't know. Sounds good. And then we have uh, the West Yard. There we go. Yeah, and again, I cannot imagine what derailed that train that we're headed right towards right now. I don't know why it derailed halfway through. It just seems, uh, well, it's odd. Usually if there's a train coming in the other direction, sometimes you get that derail thing happen there, but I don't know. There's the crossover track. There's Long Lake there on the right. It's really a pond. They call it Long Lake here. The owner brings his sons here, and they just, uh, they stock that with bass. So uh, they, they, they come here, and they fish sometimes there. It's private. You can't fish unless, uh, you know, you get permission from the railroad. And I'm not going to give that to you, so forget about your fishing dreams. If those dreams include fishing in Long Lake here in the North Yard. Alrighty. Hey. I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. I'm trying to slow down the train, but I'm actually deleting things in my spreadsheet. Okay, how about we slow down now? One more. We get down. Um, okay, we got it. So, uh, we are going to lash on to that. Oh, no, 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 the other way. And you know what we're also going to do? We're going to do this. We're going to say, switch your direction, buddy. There you go. He's leaving out of the yard towards the east, not towards the west. Now I'll have him pull forward. We got that new Insta charge on the brake lines. As always. We got some lag going on. Yeah, we got so many cars in this area that I'm not too surprised we're getting lag. I'll have to check to see what our uh, the stutters, if you will. Uh, what's our draw distance? That's pretty good, actually. Let's take it down to two thousand. Give him a little bit more of a break here. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to double up onto here. Onto this cut. That's looking smoother. down like that. There we go there. Yeah, 
it don't like something over here. Probably just because we're drawing all those cars. It's probably what. What if I get down lower? Probably not going to help. <laughs> it's all right. We're just going to put up with the jitters. That's just how it goes. Here are these horrible ore cars that I now hate. I liked them for a while. They're better than the other ones, but... Yeah. I really want to replace them like I said last time. If if I said this, I think I did. I found some B&O, uh... Modern B&O, uh... Hoppers that will carry the ore. Uh, and I like them, but the problem is that I had to go through and swap them all out. I've made like 25, maybe 26 different consists in the consist, uh, you know, maker thing. Oh, God. I'd have to go through and take out all those and replace them. And I don't know if I have that in me or not. Eventually, I will. More gravel there. Love these CSX uh, boxcars. And of course, we have these uh, steel coil cars with the hoods on. Tankers, which I believe are diesel fuel going to uh, going to the uh, SO Flats Iron ore pit. And of course, we have these uh, cement cars. Yeah, more diesel. And then these box cars. I don't know exactly where these box cars are going. Somewhere. This is one long train. I haven't added up in the spreadsheet. I list them all separately, so I haven't added up how many there are. But once we lash on to this last cut, uh, we'll take a look at the car tagger. It'll tell us. It'll add them up for us pretty, pretty quickly. We can look at the weight then, too. Why not? Here we go. Oh, I hit the brakes too soon. Oh, <laughs> it just barely blinked off. I got lucky. Okay. Let's back that up now, boys and girls. Here he comes. Sort of. You know what we're going to do, too? We're going to put the draw distance back at 2,500. It didn't seem to help that much. And then you get those more cars in the background there. Hey, if you don't like the way the game stutters, <laughs> this may not be the channel for you. Of course, I don't like the way this the game stutters. I complain about it all the time. So maybe this is not the channel for me. But if it's not the channel for me, then what channel is for me? This is my channel. How could my own channel not be the channel for me? That is a question which will vex this brain of mine for years to come. All right. There we go. A little bit more. You can do it. There you go. Okay. Wait for the slack action to play out. Here we go. All right, let's fly back now to the end of the cut. Make sure the last car is moving. I haven't accidentally decoupled something along the way. Nope, last car is moving. Beautiful on it. 
Then we'll come all the way back to the front of the train, which is way over here. And we'll go minus the two engines. It has, holy moly, 118 cars in it. <laughs> that is a lot of cars. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, and what, what kind of weight are we looking at here? Let's see. It says it is 5,717 tons. That's a heavy train. Okay, so uh, that's going to be the end of Eric's turn now. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it's not. Stop, 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 stop. We got to send Eric somewhere. Whoa, look at that slag action. That propelled us forward. Okay. It's still pushing us. A lot of momentum. So he's going to SO Flats. Let's send him there. Navigate to track mark. Right here on the bottom. SO Flats. Hey, buddy, what do you got? Here he goes. He's on his way. All right, so now, now we're done here with Eric. Let me get, put you guys on pause, and we'll figure out what we're doing next. Hold on, listen to this. Okay. Okay. All right, I got it. So he said, So whatever that means is probably pretty important. But we are here at Lewiston, uh, and we are with Adair. And Adair uh, had to move over a track because we had another freight train coming through. And I said I was going to come over here, and I was going to put uh, crossover going this way to try to solve that problem in the future, but I never did it, and now I'm thinking I might not. So anyway, so what uh, he has to do now, in addition to inconveniencing our passengers by going to a different platform, we're now they're not going to have to wait because we're going to have to run around. This is the uh, farthest station we go in this direction. So uh, to do a run around, we're going to have to clear this switch right here, uh, and well, we could run. Can we run around this way? Yeah, we, we could just run around this way and go right there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, because this switch is set the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's pull forward. So here we go. We've got to snug up just a little bit. Just till we clear this switch right here. We snug a little faster there. There we go. Okay. So now he can come and run around here, right? Yeah. And hook up here and we can head off to Fisherville. Okay. So then we're going to... The train is not... Under, okay. Select the train. Yeah, we know. Because... Yeah, I got it. It thinks I'm trying to unload and load passengers. So let's go like that. Probably should have set the handbrake uh, first, but that's okay. It shouldn't go anywhere, right? <laughs> it's not my family at the station. What do I care? All right. So let's come over here. And no, that's going to be like this. And this is going to be like this. Of course, I think about it. Why didn't the freight train go around here? Was was that, is that a problem too? Was he hanging over too much? Yeah, the freight train could have went around there. What the beeswax? All right. I don't know. Here comes a dare. One of our two passenger services that we run on this massive layout. There we go. Then we got a couple things to do once he clears this switch. Thing number one, we are going to move Adair. We're going to move to a train. You're going to get into this one right here, pal. Okay. Then we're going to switch the direction of the train. Because this is now the lead loco. And we're going to go this way here. 
and then this way, and then this way, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And away we go. Speed limit's only 15 on this runaround track. There we go. the passengers again. Probably should have done that. Blow out their eardrums. Nice. Yeah, sorry, folks. Of course, there is that fence there. I still should give them a warning, though. I have a train sneaking up behind him like that. That guy's still yelling something over the loudspeaker. Freight Depot here, huh? Something for the Harris Bakery? Uh, why was that signal at danger? I don't know. Is there another train in this area? Don't know that either. I feel I should, though. I feel like I should know these things. I just don't. This way. That freight train, you know, rolled through here. But that was a while ago. I think. Alrighty. So we'll slow it down. And this time we will do it, right? Warn the folks, you're about to feel a jolt. Put down your coffees. Or you'll be wearing them. There we go. And now, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to load again. <laughs> and now Adair is headed off to Fisherville. There we go. Go like this. Go like this. And then say... Uh, navigate 2? I almost forgot what I was doing there. Uh, Fisherville. There we go. Platform one. Can't blow the horn while I'm in this. A little late, I admit it. And there he goes. He's stopping... Why is he stopping? Did he blow a, a red here? No, it looks like it's got a yellow. Or was it a red? Did it say he ran a red? Air pass signal at danger. No, but that's what I did. That's when I did it. <laughs> what are you doing here, buddy? They're waiting for access. Okay, so he's waiting for access. Uh, so let's... Uh, we also want to load, too, when we get there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, there must be somebody in front of us? Let's take a look at the... Uh, let's take a look at the map. Here's the map. There's a dare. Oh, look. Greg's coming the other way. 
Look, Greg's right there. Is Greg on this track? Is this going to be a problem? I feel like it's going to be a problem. All right, take me out of map mode now. Where's Greg at exactly? Here he is. Here's Greg. Here's the Gregster. Greg's got wheat galore. He's probably heading for... Where is he headed for? He's headed for the North Yard. All right. Uh, he's got a lot of power on that thing. Uh, but, uh... What, uh... All right, so how... Is he going to be able to get over, or is he not? You know what he's going to do? He's going to squeak by right here, isn't he? I'll bet you he is. It's gonna, he's going to phase right through our engine here. Oh, we're here now. We might as well watch this. We might as well watch it happen, right? Let's see what kind of uh, light he has. Kind of signal, I should say. He's coming in under an approach. Then he's going to come up here, and he's going to have a stop. Yeah. Absolute stop. I'm not sure why Dare's not going. Unless it's going to be a stop, and then they're going to allow him to pull through. But why wouldn't they allow him to go through? I think there's a way to put priorities on these. And I have not increased the priorities. I hear something running over here. What is that? Is that the truck right there? I think it's just the truck right there. Uh... Yeah. Because this is not... Line ahead is unsignaled. No, it's not. It is signaled. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here. I'm very interested to find out. Let's go back here with Eric. Oh, this is not Eric. Greg. Let's go back here with Greg, see what Greg's going to do now. Greg's got a noisy engine. We're doing train science right now. He's got 5791 in tow. How many cars has he got? Well, we got to strike one, two, three, four engines, right? That's uh, 88. So he's applying. I don't, I don't understand why Dare just doesn't get on this track on this crossover here. And just blow through. Well, maybe, maybe because Eric's now holding it. I bet you this is going to be a stop and go. Here's the stop. Well, not quite yet. He's still crawling on that stop. Keep going. Keep going. You'll get there. Get a good view of the lights here. Stop. And there it is. And now he's got his double go. Line ahead is clear. Now let's see where he's throwing the switches at. This one's already thrown correctly for him. And then this one down here. Yeah, now look at this. Now, he's going to go around him, but the other one that got stuck said he couldn't. What the? And he's going he's gonna to phase right through him. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. So, because we don't want to ruin the immersion any more than we have already in the past, we're going to back him up a little bit. Uh, we're going to stop the train, and we're going to do this. Then we're going to back it up, right? Well, let's uh, warn the people behind us. Now, we're going to watch him for five minutes. That was at 18. The five minutes is up. But now we want I want to watch this. This meat. What's that say? Limit of shunt. Yeah, okay. So this track is here to service this grain, this granary right here, right? This grain facility. Yeah, I want you back up just a little bit faster than that. 
you know what we're going to back you up to? We're going to back you up to this switch right here. There we go. Let's stop it right there. Yeah, they need, they need like a dwarf right in here. Actually, like right here is where they need a dwarf. Here he comes. This would be kind of fun, huh? Not sure why they would hold up a passenger train in order to let a freight train go by, but you know what? It is what it is. Here he comes. The Gregster. The Greginator. Nice. Nice shot. He's got nothing but green hoppers on here. Let's uh, switch our perspective to over here so we can see. Well, let's actually, let's uh, do this. And then we'll go down here like this. There, that's nicer. Then we can see all these uh, Seaboard System, CSX. I'm sure some of them are family lines. Yeah. There's a lot of green on the map. Now, I wonder, while we're waiting for this freight train to go by... Hey, 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 hey. Uh, if I were to back him up past this switch here... And just see if he'll go on that other line. Sure wish I'd have thought about that a little while ago. There we go. So throw this this way and this this way. Let's see what he does now. If I start him up again. Continue schedule. Okay. Look at that. Now he will go there. So maybe that's what it was. I just didn't bump him back far enough. So I'm complaining about the uh, the AI, and it was just my fault. Okay, we'll we'll wait for uh, a dare to pull out of the station here. Then we'll we'll do we'll do something different. There he goes. Okay, so um. Let me put you guys back on pause, and I'll figure out what we're doing next. We are here with the Duke. The Dukester. All right, the Dukester uh, has got himself a pair of back-to-back SD-70 Aces, and I don't know which way he's facing right now. It, will they show me with the, the driver? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's nobody in there. How about over here? No, wait, 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 Java, Java, Java. Yeah, there's nobody in there either. So uh, it's hard to say uh, where the Duke is. So what we're going to do is uh, it don't matter. Okay, so we are going to have him go this way. There we go. All right, so he's here to pick up two things here in Waverly. I don't know. Have we been in Waverly before? I don't recall. Maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, but he, a while back, I dropped off some potash up here. And some corn at the UEP, which is the United something something. Okay. So straight ahead is where we have to go. And that's where we're going to get Duke rolling to right now. Because so that's where we have to go get both of the cars. They're both ahead of us. Okay. How about we do this? There we go. I think nine will get us going, right? All right. Now, this is an interesting track layout here, huh? Okay. 
We're going to do a crossover over a diamond. Seems kind of a weird way to set things up, but that's the way they did it. Over this one right here. Then this way. And then we're going to go this way. All the way down here. And there are the 10 pot ashes we had to pick up right there. All right. Back to the dupe. He's doing only one mile an hour over. We're going to forgive him for that. He's not going slow. He's pacing himself. He gets paid by the hour. He's got a yellow on this one here. What what would be the state there? Line ahead is clear for one block. Okay. Probably picking up the pot ashes. Oh, this is a double the double diamond. Awfully quiet for a diamond. <laughs> you hear the trains in real life go over they they bang over those things. Although they got new ones now that uh lift up. The wheel, I don't know if you've seen those before. I saw it on Distant Signal. They got new ones that just lift up the wheel just ever so slightly. Not enough for the flange to come out, but it lifts it up so you don't get so much banging in it and it causes the uh, diamond to uh, last longer. Lots of fields out here. Let's take a little look around here. Yep, fields. Yourself a pretty big bridge for the highway there. Farm. Look, I think that's a harvester right there, isn't it? Combine. Another bridge. A barn. Some kind of factory or something, it looks like. I don't know. We must be in some kind of winter month because uh, none of the trees here have the leaves on them. It is February of 2022. All right. Here we come up on a level crossing. Uh oh, Adair passed. He just spad. Adair just spad. Now, whether this one has an automatic whistle on it or not makes no difference because it won't do it while I'm driving. So we're just going to have to do it ourselves. Darrow's able to stop. And he'll restart in two minutes. That's nice. Oh, this is a nice leisurely stroll, is it not? All right, last time I was up here, I can't remember who I was with. It was somebody who uh, delivered, made the potash and corn delivery, plus there's some Morton Salt cars I think they dropped off. We'll see up there because there's also a Morton Salt dock as well as the Potash dock. Uh, and we'll see if I drop any cars off. And the train was so long, I ended up using up all these tracks here, which I didn't put in. This was put in by uh, Neil Smith, the guy who made the route. Uh, and it was very helpful to put all those cars on that track so I could run around them all and get on the other side. And then to pick up the ones I needed, shove them where they needed to go.
All right, I think our turnout's right there on the left, right? Right here? Yeah, there it is. That one heads out to the potash delivery or loading. Or actually, it's unloading. Comes, I think, all the way from the other side of the map from Edison, I believe. It's a big old birch tree on the right there. The white tree. The white tree is a birch tree. Now, if you're thinking to yourself right now, really? you got to be kidding me. <laughs> you know what's coming. This may not be the channel for you because... Uh, I like this part. I just get to sit here, relax. My train's going nice and slow. And I just get to watch it do its thing. Now, as it turns out, we're going to end up being on the correct side. Because after this, we're going to Burnfield. And Burnfield is out east. And we'll be on the correct side. We'll have to switch to the direction of the train again. We'll probably do that after we lash on to these uh, pot ashes up here. Change uh, the, the lead uh, lead locomotive and the, uh, you know, the MU, if you will. Hot ash dock is over here on the left. Got a bunch of this uh, storage containers and stuff here. Then the Morton Salt dock is over here. I believe there are Morton Salt uh, Morton Salt uh, cars sitting there, hoppers. Yeah, now it slows down to ten, but as always, slowest I'm going to go is fifteen mile an hour. And we got another little crossing here. Street lights. They're kind of cool. The lights are lit up on it. I like it. And I believe when I came down here the first time that I made sure the switches were thrown correctly. So we should be able to lash onto these and pull them on out. Then we'll head back on out. And then once we clear the switch for this, and there's a ship being pushed out right now by some tugboats uh, on the left there. Uh, then we're going to throw the switch and we got to head back in the same direction again to, to get the corn. In fact, I got a ship loading up. Looks like this one was pulling out. I suppose, were they swinging around like that? Or would they back it out? I'm not sure. All right, so that one's right. Got the tree. And then this one's right, right here. All right. So let's go down over here now. It's Canadian potash. There we go. Lash onto these. Got it. Now over here in my, you can't see what I'm doing, but over here in my spreadsheet, I'm going to mark down that I have picked these up. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to switch directions again. Make that the lead unit over there. We're going to head on out. And while we're pulling these out, uh, we're going to go over here. Are there ones over here on the salt dock? Not seeing any. Oh, no, here they are. They're in this, like, this little yard before it, huh? Yeah. These are, I don't know if they're waiting or are they empties 
Morton Salt. It is not on my list, so I'm thinking, yeah, these are these are waiting to pick up salt. Although these look like they're offloading salt onto there. But these load here, right? This loads salt on. These things don't suck up the salt. Okay. I'm an engineer, not a sailor. All right, here we go. Empties in tow. You can hear them. Here comes my whistle post. Is that a dwarf right there? Or is that just a sign? I think it's a limit of shunt sign, yeah. Here we go. Very nice. Do they have any... Uh, oh, look at that. They do. Line side camera shots. Why not enjoy these? That way you get to take a look at the potash uh, hoppers. Here he comes. Trees are blowing in the wind. I love it. It really is a cool shot right there. You can see him coming downhill there. The grade changes to downhill. Kind of going over a hump there. Cursor's in the way. This is nice. This is like a great place to rail fan. You might even be able to get close enough to the to the docks there to see what's going on there. They're doing their switching moves and stuff. I mean, if this place were real. It's it's not real. Oh, okay. Now we got to go back to this because here's the switch we got to clear. And we're heading back up this track here to lash on to the next portion. There's uh, nine green hoppers. That were used to deliver corn. Okay, we'll slow these down now. There we go. There it is. Now we're going to back this up going this way. Very nice. Make sure these are all set right. Yep. And then this is a cross. Now, I, I put this crossover in. I don't think there was a crossover here. There's only one going this way, so you'd have to go this way, then back up them and pull forward. I didn't like it. All right, so now we're going to come into here. There's a gate that's closed right now. They'll, they'll open the rail gates when we come up this way. This way, go this way. And, yeah, we're going to pull, or pull the short one out first. Okay. Let's go here now. You know what we're going to do? We're going to run to the back. We are going to be the conductor. That's what we're going to do on this trip. Here we go. We're riding on back. Got some nice sway action working. Sounds like we're in a tunnel or something. If you listen to the the truck sound, sounds like we're in a tunnel or 
We're driving through a tin can or something. It's echoey. There we go. Crossover. Double crossover. It's not a slip switch. It's a double crossover. There's a difference. I don't know if we'll see the gate swinging open or has it already swung open. I don't know. I think it's still closed right now. I'm looking. I'm trying to eyeball it. It's still closed, I should say. Oh, I just saw it swing open. Did you see it? Rewind the video if you need to. Or not. This John Deere uh, combine looking across. He's going to wait for us, though. Got the bell going. Give these folks up here the heads up that we're coming to pick up your empties. You called. You had empties. Where are they at? There they are. Thank you. Oh, geez. A big dip in the track right there. A little service road action here. They got a flagman out, though. Here we go into the corn. There's something else here, too, I think. I think something else gets dropped off here. All right. Slow this down. That's good. Whoa, hey. There we go. Right down to here. Yeah, this is where we want to be. We want to slow it down, though. There we go. Those brakes are good. Do that now. Got it. And let's pull that forward now. We'll wait by this switch till he clears it. So we can get the other, uh, what was there? Six over there? Yeah. These are three. Three plus six is nine. I don't have my calculator on, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Alrighty. There we go. And now we're going to back up this way. This 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 map is so big that it feels like you're playing a different route every once in a while. Because you see places, you're like, I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> Stop it right there. How close are we to the buffer? I just got to look. I got to look. Oh, no. I gave myself lots of room. That's some precision railroading right there. It's not actually what precision railroading is, but... Yeah. All righty. All right. Stop that. Thank you for the bell. Okay. So I was marking my spreadsheet that we have those. And next, we're off to Burnfield Lumber to pick up empty log cars. Those uh, bulkheads. All right. So now we're going to go to this. We're going to go to this. And we're going to say, navigate to track mark Burnfield. Where are you at, Burnfield? There you are. Beautiful. There we go. He's on his way. And we're going to come over here. We're going to watch him leave the gates. Yep. And we're also going to watch this video go bye-bye. Because that's it, folks. We have hit the butter zone. Uh, my clock is showing we're coming up on 55 minutes. That's about where I like to stop it. In between 45 and an hour. 
Hope you had fun. You know I did. Uh, tune in for episode 30 in about a week or so. I'll have other videos coming out for Tidewater before that, for CNO Hinton, and for my farming uh, simulator, if you care to watch any of that. So uh, why don't you subscribe? Why don't you like? Why don't you leave me a comment? And if you don't like the fact that Duke's going at a massive five mile an hour right now, well, this just may not be the channel for you.